Hi, welcome to Living in El Paso, Texas. My name is John Pena with Pena El Paso Realty Group. If you are looking to buy or sell or invest in residential or commercial real estate, please consider reaching out to us. And what we are doing is we are doing a remake of a video that we did that was very popular a couple of years ago, specifically to the residential side, where to live in El Paso, Texas. As you can imagine, we do attract a lot of relocating buyers, a lot of military folks who are PCSing to El Paso. And if you haven't lived in El Paso before, and you aren't familiar with the different areas and locations, I think a video like this can be very helpful. So we're gonna update it and we're gonna talk more kind of about 2023 prices. And so if you have a certain price range, this area might resonate with you more than others. So with that, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with the Mission Valley or Lower Valley area. Now we're gonna pop up a map so you can see exactly where this is. It's basically the area directly south of Interstate 10 on the east side of El Paso. And uh, we're gonna talk about a plus, a negative, and then the price points. So pluses for this area. This is a very affordable place. Uh, a lot of the homes there are, are very affordable. A lot of the properties there are also on bigger lots and these are well-established areas. Cons, some might say that older homes are not as attractive to, to folks anymore. And the, a lot of these homes are older. Some of this area is pretty run down. It's, I think it's fair to say that some of this area is pretty blighted. It doesn't look all that great. Uh, a lot of the areas are, are kind of run down. Maybe the, some of the properties haven't been taken care of. And so that can be a problem uh, as far as the values of, of your home go when you go to sell. So be careful about that. And some of this area is pretty close to the industrial areas, like especially the, like the oil refinery that we have. If it were me, I wouldn't necessarily want to live directly by that because of air pollution, things like that. So price point, you can still find the majority of homes in this area that are actually below $200,000. I would say on average, the average price point of the homes here, they're older homes, remember, is about $150,000 more or less right now. So let's move on. Let's go to Central. Central is the area directly around downtown. It kind of straddles both the, the west and the east side of the Franklin Mountains there a little bit. Pluses, close to downtown, close to UTEP. Great parks, there's some great parks, uh, Memorial Park, things like that. Older, charming homes. Cons, the traffic can be a little more intense because you're right downtown and again, for some fo folks that like newer homes, these homes are not new, these are older homes. Now we have to do differentiate because Central is unique. There are a couple of areas in Central that are super awesome. Kern, Manhattan Heights, Sunset Heights. These areas are amazing. I would say that the price point can, on some of these areas can go up five, six, seven hundred thousand dollars $700,000. These are really, really nice homes, of course. However, once you start going on to the east and then kind of going up into the northeast area, that's seven, nine, 930 area code, I believe. You're kind of directly across from Fort Bliss there by 54. Homes start to get more affordable again. Again, they are older homes, but I'd say on average, the price point, 150 to $250,000. So once you get into that little area, I'd say the average price is around $200,000, which is still a pretty affordable home here. Now, let's keep going that direction on the map and go into that whole northeast area, okay? This is the area directly to the east of the Franklin Mountains. It straddles 54, both sides of 54. Fort Bliss is all in there. So, great things about the northeast, epic mountain views. Commute times are pretty good. You can get to downtown quick, you can get to Fort Bliss quick, you can go through the mountains and get to the west side. So traffic over there is pretty good. It is a growing area. There's a development called Campo del Sol that's happening. There's gonna be a f influx of new homes in that area, so that's gonna be awesome. Cons right now, older homes maybe, and there are a couple of areas, especially east of 54, that have kind of a bad reputation for crime. Angel's Triangle comes to mind. So some of those areas don't have the best reputation uh, as far as safety, crime, things like that. However, we're gonna break this down. The lower Northeast, on average, again, homes from $100,000 to $200,000. Now they might be smaller homes, they're gonna be older, but that's a pretty good price point. The north part of the Northeast, think North Hills, Mesquite Hills, then we start getting into price points around $200,000 to $400,000 homes, okay? So the further north, north you go, the more expensive the homes get, but still on average, probably around $300,000. 
Let's talk about the east side. We're not talking Horizon City or the Far East yet, we're just talking this little section that we call the east side. Pros, very established areas, well-maintained neighborhoods, people have lived there forever in these homes. Bigger lots, if you want more land, a big front yard, a big backyard, east side is a great location for you. Great parks, tons of amenities, restaurants, shops, all of that stuff is, is right there. Cons, really the only con we could come up is the homes are older, right? You're not gonna find new homes in this area. They are older homes. But aside from that, we, we couldn't really think of any, any cons. I think sometimes the east side, the way that we talk about it, is, is doesn't get the, um, the attention that maybe it deserves. So, average home prices in there start at about 150 and go up to $400,000. Alex and I decided that the average price point in this east side is about $250,000. Again, if you're looking for bigger lots and you don't mind older homes, this is a great area to consider. Now, let's stay on the east side of El Paso in general, but now let's talk specifically about Horizon City. Again, remember, we have videos on every single one of these areas that go more in depth. We have a playlist called the Areas of El Paso. Check that video out if you want more information on any of these. But Horizon City, the pros, newer homes primarily, tons of new amenities and stores coming into this area. This is where the Amazon um, big distribution center is. Cons, traffic, no doubt about it. Right now, traffic is pretty intense in there. They're trying to do some things with construction, but right now traffic can be a little bit of a, of a headache. There are less amenities, but that's changing very quickly. And this is in a municipal utility district, meaning that there is an extra tax that, that you're gonna pay for through your property taxes. As this area develops, you're going to help pay for that infrastructure to be developed. So there is a little bit of an additional tax hit on your property taxes there. Average homes are the price range 200 to about $400,000 with the average again being about $250,000 much like the east side, but the difference is on the east side, you're gonna get an older home with a bigger lot. In Horizon City, you're gonna get a newer home with a smaller lot, is, is I think a simple way to, to think about it. Two more areas for you, the far east, okay. This is arguably the most popular suburb, I'm, I'm inclined to say. Why newer homes, it's close to the base, so very popular with military, and tons of amenities, restaurants, shopping centers, all of that kind of stuff. It's out and about, it tr truly does feel like a suburbs, which might be one of the cons, because for me at least, it's kind of far away from downtown. I like being able to zip into downtown, but for other people it may not be. The other big con, traffic, no doubt about it. Again, they are doing some, some big traffic projects. They're widening Montana, they're widening 375, but right now traffic is a, a bit of a nightmare in the, in the, I shouldn't say nightmare, that's too strong, but in the morning and in the evening, traffic can get pretty intense. Price range, 200 dollars to $500,000. They're starting to build higher price point newer homes in there. We would say that basically the average home price is about $275,000. A little bit more expensive than Horizon City, but um, again, if you're in the military, fantastic location close to Fort Bliss. And if you just like being out in the suburbs away from the hustle and bustle a little bit, uh, that's a pretty good area. Okay, let's go into the last area. This is the west side. We've started this list kind of from the most affordable homes to the least affordable homes. We're saving the west side because We'll start with the cons, I guess. The homes on the west side are typically more expensive, no doubt about it, and a lot of those homes are older, okay? And a lot of those older homes are definitely dated, okay? What are the pros, though? What, why are we paying more money to live on the west side? The views are epic, okay? The location is fantastic. It's close to downtown. It's close to New Mexico. Uh, it's close to um, basically all of the higher end amenities in El Paso. For instance, I say this all the time, we've got one Whole Foods, it's squarely on the west side. So a lot of the nicest restaurants, stores are on the west side. So. The traditional west side, essentially think east of Interstate 10, south of 375, sandwiched between the mountains. Range is about pretty wide, 250 up to about $700,000. 
We'd say that the average price, average home price in this area is about $350,000, okay? Now, this is likely gonna get you a larger home, and it could get you a home also with um, a nice view. However, the west side is, there's a lot of different areas, so let's break it down just a little bit for you. There's an area that we call the Northwest, which is primarily the Enchanted Hills area. If you're looking for a newer home, this can be a fantastic option. Price range, 300 to about $550,000. Cimarron Canyon is an area that we've talked about a lot. It's kind of like the luxury community maybe of the west side. Price range, $500 to about $800,000. There's a really awesome area called the Upper Valley that is west of Interstate 10, closer to the Rio Grande River. Water rides, bigger lots, big homes. These homes, about $500,000 to a million. And then there's a really interesting area on the west side of El Paso that's actually in New Mexico called Santa Teresa. They are doing a lot of new builds in there. Price range about $300,000 to $500,000. So, we hope that this is helpful because again, if you're moving to El Paso and you're not familiar with the areas, this is a great way, we hope, for you to get an idea of what the areas are like. And I hope that this updated version for 2023 with the information on the home prices is helpful for you as well. So, we are always looking to be as helpful as we possibly can. If you are finding this type of information useful, please consider subscribing to the channel. Of course, if you're thinking about making that relocation to El Paso, you're gonna want to reach out to us as your real estate agent. I cannot tell you how many times I run into people and they're like, oh, hey, I saw you on YouTube. I've watched all your videos before we moved here. Uh, we just bought a house on the whatever location. And I'm like, okay, great, welcome to El Paso. And in my mind, I'm thinking, why didn't you call me? Like, I could have helped you uh, buy a house. So we are real estate agents. We, of course, are in the business of helping folks just like you find great homes here. And hopefully, you can lean on our expertise. And hopefully, this video is a pretty good sample of of that expertise so until next time thank you so much and we'll see you in the next episode